Hello Vinyl Community, it's Matt here again. A real quick video this time, I got a stack of 80s compilation CDs to show you guys. Uh, these were most all I think from eBay, I think it's from a couple of different sellers. And uh, yeah, let's just dive right into it, you know. You know I like my 80s music and I like my compilations, so. First up it is uh, Relax, the ultimate 80s mix. And I remember this one from back in the day, from the 90s. I remember being advertised and seeing it in stores. Uh, 1998 um, is when this was uh, released and uh, there's a lot of 12 inch mixes on here and the songs are mixed together but kind of loosely I wasn't that impressed with the mixing on it but um, there's still some good stuff you know Frankie Goes to Hollywood, New Order, Duran Duran, Aha, Tears for Fears etc you know the kind of the usual suspects and then this one um, the 80s mix is another one I remember from the 90s uh, this one came out in 98 as well. And it's the same sort of thing. Uh, some 12 inch mixes on here as well. Blondie and Soft Cell, uh, OMD, Joy Division, New Order, um, Bronsky B, Duran Duran, Simple Minds, yada yada yada. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's, in double, it's a double album. Uh, this one is a, a 5 CD set. 100 hits 80s classics. So there's a bunch of uh, 100 hit uh, sort of albums in the UK. There's uh, there's like a whole line of them, a whole series of them. I have a disco one, I think, somewhere. But anyways, this is all 80 songs. It's unfortunately missing one of the discs. I, I didn't know that when I bought it. Um, I think it's missing disc four or five, which is probably the worst one on here, I think, from looking at it. So I'm not, not that bummed about it. But And yeah, no mixing this time. It's just straight up 80 songs. And again, you know, a lot of the usual suspects on here, Spaniel Ballet, Simple Minds, Culture Club, um, Paula Abdul, Kim Wilde, and uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of the usual suspects on there. Now, this next one's kind of interesting. Um, it's just called 80s Mixtape, and it's not a mix, despite the name, it's, the songs aren't actually mixed together in any way. But it's very much a kind of an alternative 80s album. And I have one or two others like that as well. I have... Uh, I have one called Seriously 80s, which is, uh, you know, it's a little out of the mainstream. Uh, most of these songs were not like big hits, or at least certainly weren't like big top 10 or even number one hits. Um, you know, there, there's some songs on here that are well known, of course, but there's a lot of kind of um, almost like cult songs on here, I would say. So you've got like Lloyd Cole and um, Aztec Camera, Echo and the Bunnymen, um, Prefab Sprout. Orange Juice, Scritti Politti, Communards, um, Style Council, Talking Heads, Secure, uh, who else is on it? Pretenders, Shakespeare's Sister. So again, a lot of, you know, not 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 songs that weren't at least top 40 hits in the UK, but but not songs that you would normally think, oh, that's got to be on an 80s, uh, on an 80s compilation, right? I mean, we once we've gotten Tears for Fears and Aha and Wham out the way, you, you start to turn to, to some alternative stuff like that. Uh, this next one is one that I wanted on vinyl for a long time. I've seen it come up on eBay and it's uh, it seems to go for a bit of money. And I, I finally just gave in and got the CD. It was really cheap. And that's the 80s, the album of the decade. This was released in early 1989. So it, it's it's slightly uneven with the song distribution. But it's this is very much like a Now That's Why Good Music album. And I say that because it's uh, it's an EMI release, and of course EMI was one part of uh, Now That's Why I Call Music. And the font is like identical on the back to the Now albums. And it's a little, it is a little bit uneven with the track distribution in, in terms of the years. I mean, we, we've we gotten some, I think like 1981 only has one or two songs on it. But 1988 has got like five or six, so it's kind of a, a funny... And, and I get that, this came out in early 89, so... It made some sense from a marketing standpoint to put some more recent songs on here. But but again, yeah, some classics. Um, every single song on here was a number one. Every single one. All, all 32 songs. So, yeah, again, all the classics. The Police, UB40, Dexy's Midnight Runners. Um, the first song, Pink Floyd, Another Brick in the Wall Part 2. Uh, that's kind of blurry, sorry. But, uh, yeah. And I believe I'm right in saying that Another Brick in the Wall was the... The first number one hit of the 80s in the UK. Like, I think it got to number one 
I think I'm right in saying right at the end of 79 and was still at number one when, when 1980 uh, uh, sort of rolled on in. Uh, this next one's kind of a quirky one. I grew up in the 80s and uh, it's just the decade, the style of the music. It's a, a, a triple CD set. And this one's interesting because it's, it's divided into themes. Each disc has a different theme. So we've got CD one is the number ones. So every single song on there is a number one hit. CD two is the party. And uh, this was a couple of number ones on that as well, but they're sort of, for the most part, more upbeat sort of dance type songs. And then CD three is movie and TV, TV themes. So you've got classic movie themes, um, which were also hit songs like Ghostbusters and um, uh, Footloose and Starship, Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now, um, Duran Duran, View to a Kill, that type of thing. But then you've also got um, uh, theme songs from TV shows like um, Crockett's Themes and Miami Vice, okay, Little House on the Prairie, Neighbors. Probably a lot of Americans won't, won't be familiar with Neighbors, but... Um, um, Kylie Minogue and, and Natalie Imbruglia, they were both their neighbors back in the day, so maybe that helps, I don't know. But Neighbors was a, or is, it's still going, it probably is still going, an Australian soap opera. It was huge in the UK in the late 80s. It was, it's, it's kind of hard to overstate how big it was. I mean, it was like the, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think, like, like, it was like, almost like what Friends became in the 90s, something like that. Um, next one is 12-inch 80s dance. This is a triple CD set as well. Every single one of these uh, tracks is a 12 inch mix or some kind of like an extended remix of, uh, of the song. So you've got like Dead or Alive, S Express, Wham, Terence Trent Darby, The Chimes, Hall and Oates, um, Shack Attack, Curiosity Kills the Cat, Level 42, Swing Out Sister, and just uh, a whole bunch of different, yeah, different 80s stuff on here. And then finally, actually, no, I'm sorry. The last 80s one, I guess, is um, 80s Nightclub. And this is a mix as well. Big hits from the 80s in the mix. And uh, and again, you know, I I was a little bit underwhelmed with the mixing on this one too. I guess I expected something a little more clever going from one track into the next. But, uh, you know, it's still a good listen. Three discs as well with this one. And uh, quite a few of these are like 12-inch versions or some kind of a mix. So we've got... Uh, Queen on here, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, with Bowie's on here, um, ABC, The Specials, Level 42, Talk Talk, New Shoes, Echo and the Bunnymen, Shaka Khan is on here, Imagination, The Gap Band, it's, it's kind of all over the map really, but Craftwork, uh, you know, some really good stuff. And then finally, I finally picked this up, you know, you know, I, I like my Now That's Why Cool Music albums, but... I've been a little bit remiss in collecting the more recent ones in the UK. I think they're up to like now, now 108 or something now, or someone else can tell me. Maybe it's not quite as high as that, but I finally picked up, now, now, now that's why Cool Music 100. Still sealed, still in the shrink. And I included this uh, in, uh, in this 80s video because although CD1 is um, the latest music, or latest as of a couple of years ago, 2018, CD2 is... Uh, the now classics, and it's, yeah, it's kind of hard to make it out right there. So we've got, uh, and it's song, it's songs taken from uh, previous now albums leading up to 100. And this was supposed to be like a big celebration. It was the 100th edition. And to be honest, the selection is not great. <laughs> it was CD2. Um, I, I, you know, I, it starts off fine. UB40, Red Red Wine, Phil Collins, Against All Odds. So those were taken from Now 1 and Now 3. But then it jumps to Now 9 with Bon Jovi, Living on a Prayer. Then it it jumps forward um, like eight years to Wet Wet Wet, Love is All Around, which is from Now 28. And so it's 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 got way too much stuff on it from like the last 15 years. I, I would have much preferred it if they had taken one song from the, there's 21 tracks on disc two, if they had taken one song from each of the first 21 Now albums or something like that, I, I think that would have been much better because um, I don't care about freaking Shakira featuring Wyclef and, and Katy Perry and, you know, Mark Ronson or Uptown Funk. Okay, I, I do know that song at least, but I don't know. I just thought that was a bit of a missed opportunity. And I get it. They were probably trying to strike a balance between 
the sort of hipsters or the, the the teenagers who would be all into the latest music and would recognize a lot of the more recent stuff versus the kind of old fuddy duddies like me who who wanted the 80s music <laughs> but it's all good I, I still wanted to get it and and it was sealed and um i don't know it's got a price sticker on it of five pounds i i'm pretty sure it was a little bit cheaper than that but anyway that's it uh those are my my recent 80s compilation uh fine so uh, i'll have some more videos coming soon i've got a bunch of uh speaking of compilations a bunch of uk compilation albums to show you compilation records from the 80s or mostly from the 80s and uh quite a few other records that, that i bought in the last few months so stay tuned for those i'll have those uh in the next week or two and um yeah if you'd like to um uh, leave a comment always appreciate that if you'd like to subscribe please hit the button below and uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.